Hey, welcome, Nate here with Superior Eagle, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the 3CX web client. Uh, what you're looking at right now is I just logged in using my extension number and a password, and if you don't have this information, uh, reach out to your system administrator. They should be able to provide this with, uh, for you. They can have, actually, the, the system itself send out an email with all the information that you would need in order to be able to log in. So as you can see right now, um, I got one extension here. And it's got this little green dot here and what this is this just shows the presence or the status of the phone now if you look right here it says available this pretty much coincides with this these options right here if I were to set my phone to do not disturb as you can see that it turns red and depending on the presence that's what this is called or the status my phone will, will behave uh, different ways when an inbound call comes into my extension and um, so for example right now it's set to do not disturb if I were to come over here to settings call forwarding and check my do not disturb option here it's gonna go straight to voicemail for internal calls as well as external calls so as you can see you can have your phone depending on the status that it's set in over here do different things on an external call versus an internal call an internal call meaning a call that was like from another user within your organization and this would be an outside caller calling in so you have these one two three four these six different options here I'm sorry five different options and depending on what option is set you can have it do the, the different things so if I have it set to lunch which I like to use I can have it all I have my lunch option set to also ring my mobile okay now make sure that if you have this set to ring your mobile that you have a mobile number put in here okay so let's get back to here and again as you can see I only have one extension shown here and that's because this is a demo system and it's the only extension right now actually registered to the system now we do have other extensions um, set up on the system but they're just not shown because this option right here show unregistered extensions so now I'll click that and now you can see we have all these different extensions being shown so moving forward you can call the different extensions video them or video with them you can chat with them like kind of like text messaging but via this platform here you can create a web meeting or you can add them to your favorites and if you hit this little box here you can have all these other different options as well And as you can see that these are actually gray so these are not registered extensions if they were they would either be green orange or uh, depending on what the status is that color okay as you can see I have this added to favorites and I have this one added to favorites these ones are still white so if I click favorites there's these extensions okay so keep that in mind moving forward contacts as you can see I have a handful of contacts here um, now depending on if you are given access or given the right to add a company-wide or edit company-wide contacts you will have these options here if you do not have these options here then that is because you do not have access or rights on the back end to be able to to upload to edit um, or add contacts now personal contacts everybody should have rights to do so um, on their own extension and to do that you just hit this check mark I'm sorry the plus enter the information here hit save and you'll have it added you can also import contacts and delete them here is the chat so if you had any chat history it would be listed in here and if you need to add or you wanted to start up a new chat type in the person's name and you can do group chats or um, or single chats and here's where they would actually kind of archive if you would call history self-explanatory uh, you have all the uh, call history here all incoming outgoing miss and abandoned if I had any voicemails, they'd be listed here. You'd see the caller ID information, and I'd be able to listen um, and even call them back. Also built into this web client is a audio and video conferencing uh, solution. Um, depending on which one you want to do, you just select it here. You can do it now or later. 
select the time and date, add, so add a subject, uh, add a little bit of notes, and it actually um, works with your email client. So for example, we use our the G Suite email for our business. Um, so if I were to type, just do a test one real quick, put some notes, and use Google, um, I hit create meeting, and it automatically puts in all the information that I've already set, has all this information for the user to be able to uh, access the web conference, and also here's where I can add the different guests, okay? Um, then they would get their notification with all the information, and they'd have all that, uh, and it would just work, okay? Sorry, I just got a notification, and it kind of disrupted me. Uh, leave. I'm going to delete this because I do not need that. Um, so that is how you create a conference. You can automatically just create a web meeting. This would bring up uh, the web meeting platform and you can add, you can invite your participants that way. Switchboard. This is kind of like a, like more of a call center type feature so it may or may not um, be of, of benefit to you. Uh, but it does actually when when someone is on a call, you'd be able to see um, that information here. And settings, um, here's you can do a little bit here. Um, you can't change the name or nothing, but you can update the mobile number. Um, uh, what else? Oh, presence, here's where I uh, enabled the option to be able to view unregistered extensions here. So if I were to switch that back, now they're not there, okay? Uh, call forwarding, again, this is where you can uh, set how long so if a call comes in how long do you want your phone to ring 20 seconds probably a little long especially if you're sitting there so maybe you want to bump that down to 10 um, and if the call is not answered where do you want it to go okay uh, let's see here greetings here's where you can record new greetings or manage your your voicemail greetings for the different statuses here um, and QR code, this is another uh, benefit, I should say. If you have the, the Android or iOS uh, mobile app, you can launch that on your phone. And if, it's, if your phone, if your app's not already provisioned to your extension, go into, your, go into the settings of the app and select QR code, take a snap to picture, and it will update automatically. It will provision automatically. So... That is a 3CX uh, web client in a nutshell. I hope you found it uh, informational. If you have any questions, please reach out, comment below. Uh, again, Nate here with Superior Eagle, and I thank you for watching the video. Uh, feel f please do subscribe, and um, if you liked the video or felt it beneficial, uh, please like it too as well. All right, thank you, and uh, look forward to providing more videos for you. Thanks.